OK, uh, so now let's talk about how we can how to join table. So you if you may still remember that last week we said that uh, to eliminate to eliminate the data redundancy and we should split table and which is correct because that can save the data storage. Uh, however, so uh, if we want to enrich the information, so for example, if when we make queries and we want to join those table together again so that we can get uh, enriched information. So um, join table, split table to save the data storage and join table in making queries so that we can see more information that uh, from that uh, from both table. So for example, here we have the cost table and we have the teacher table. Uh, so cost uh, table, cost ID is a primary key, teacher ID is a primary key on the teacher table. And then we have a foreign key that on cost table. So that refer to primary key on the teacher table. So that is the best practice to save the data. So however, so when we want to make queries, so for example, we want to know the teacher name of a specific class of a specific course. And in that case, we need to join those two tables together. So the table, the result will be in our query. So that will now be saved on our disk. It's just a temporary query. So you know the information you want. And then after that, you can just delete that query. So the table, the data will still be saved in two separate tables. OK, uh, so that's the idea that behind join and also split. So uh, don't be confused that why do you want to join table since and <laughs> and why do you want split table at the first place? OK, so splitting table to save the storage, drawing table to enrich information. So when you, when you do need those informations, you can join the tables. And the pattern is mo is most likely that we use the foreign key to join that uh, primary key that the foreign key is referred to. Okay, so that is the the way that normally how we join two tables. Okay, uh, so to join the tables, you can use table to join the table itself. So that is called self join. So sometimes you may want to do the self join, or you can use table to join the other tables. Okay, based on the common columns. Okay, so based on the common columns. And the common columns are normally based on the foreign keys joined to the primary key or the primary key joined to the foreign keys. Okay, um, and let's see the syntax. Um, the syntax will be a little bit complicated. Um, I don't know why I didn't have a syntax here, but Let's say the syntax from the example. So, uh, so first you have to tell that okay, what columns do you want by using select? So, so here since you're since you're talking about different tables, so you need to tell the schema and also table and dot the column that you want. So here I want to have the teacher name from the teacher table, course name from the course table and also cost room from the cost table. So I have to tell, OK, the schema, the cost name, or the table name, and also the, the column name. OK, so I want to see those three columns. And then you can see, OK, from which table. So this will be called the left table. The first table is called the left table. OK, inner join. And the, the second table is called the right table. OK, the right table and you will see what means so left and also right. So left table here in this case will be the professor table and also the right table will be the course table. OK, and they are drawing and they are using an inner drawing. So we will see the inner drawing later. So what does that mean based on the common columns so on the common columns? So the column is that professor email on the professor table that is the primary key on the foreign key that is professor email on the cost table so that is the foreign key so now by drawing like that you can see the professor information professor name from the professor table cost name from the cost table and also room number from the cost table okay and let's see uh, how that work in the 
in TG Admin. Okay, uh, so here let's see. I want select uh, demo select everything from demo dot professor. Okay, all right. I see this error again. So again, the best practice is that you should close your connection immediately after you are done with the query. So uh, you should not do that like I have done here. So I keep the connection for a long time. Okay, so here you can see from the professor, I have only one record. So that's my record. And if I see from course. Okay, so here I have two records. And so both I am the professor for those two courses. Okay, so now let's say we want to try the, uh, the drawing. Okay, so the first we want to say want select demo professor professor name comma demo course and I want a course name comma and also demo course and this time I want the room information. Okay, so one professor name from professor table and also course name on course room from the course t um, from the course table and from so th this will be from the professor. So this will be the left table in the drawing course table. Okay, so here I'm using inner join, and we I will explain what does that mean. And in this case, uh, the cost table will be the right table. Oh, so based on which key you want to join, so demo dot professor dot p email. So here you can see why I don't recommend using space on your table names and those on your um, column names. So if you have space, you have type like that, and that will give you error. So make sure you don't have spaces in your table names and also in your column names. Demo dot inner join based on professor email to the course dot professor email. Okay. So double check the spell and write. Okay, uh, C O U R S C. Okay, uh, so now you can see I have my professor and also I'm teaching two classes, so intro to GRS and also data mining. All right, so if you want to select everything, and you can also do that. So if you select everything, so basically it's just draw display all the columns from all the table. So that is from all the columns from all the table. OK. Uh, so that is a drawing. And there are multiple types of the drawings. Uh, so there are inner drawing, there are left drawing, there are right drawing, and also there are full drawing. OK. So the inner drawing means that it will based on the key it will only return that matched records that uh, that uh, from both table. Okay, so it will only return the matched record um, that in both table. So at least one match in both table. Okay, so it's kind of uh, the record that match from both tables that will uh, be returned. The left drawing means that it will return all the records from the left table and also match the records from the right table. Okay, it will return all the records from the left table and the right records uh, and also match the records from the right table. Right drawing means that it will return all the records from the right table and also only matched records from the left table. Okay, only matched records from the left table. Uh, for drawing, we'll return all the rows, okay, so we, as long as there's a one match of the tables, okay, so that is a for drawing. So in different scenarios, you may want to use inner drawing, so only match records on both tables, 
left drawing all the records from left table and the match records from right table. Right drawing all the records from the right table and also match the records from left table. And also fall drawing. So fall drawing will retain all the rows and also will display the matched rows uh, in your result. Okay, uh, so this may sound like uh, very confusing. So let's see one example here. Go back to our data. Okay, uh, so here let's see uh, what I have on my uh, student list. So here I have four students. That's one, two, three, four, and also two are in I major and also two are in the GS major. And on my enroll list, I can see that S1 enrolled to those two class, S2 enrolled to one of this class, and S3 has, en has enrolled two of those classes. And S4 didn't enroll any of those classes. Okay, uh, so now if I say I want to select all the records uh, from the demo student, Let's say we want inner drawing, the demo enroll list. Uh, so you may want to pause the video here. You, see, you can type the, uh, the SQL code in your command. And then you can follow this video. OK. So here I want to say, OK, I want drawing. So the S email is a pr primary key on student table and also foreign key on the enroll list. So here I use an inner drawing. So inner drawing we all retain a list that only matched on both tables. So you can see here I have S123 because those students, they, they, are, yeah, they are enrolled to those classes. So I can see uh, the matched records on both tables. OK. And if I change that one to left drawing. So left drawing, so in this case, student, um, student table will be the left table so left drawing will retain all the records on the student table so now if i run it so now you can see we have one more record that is s4 so s4 does not match any other record in this enroll list but still it has been returned because this is an left drawing okay at left drawing retain all the records from the student table and if i run the right drawing so right drawing will retain all the records on the right table. So in this case, enroll list. And well, we are only retain the matched record from student table. Uh, so now you can see that all the records on the enroll list actually has been retained. OK. Um, but uh, we, we didn't see S4 now. So we don't see S4 in this result because they see the right drawing. And uh, if we try the full drawing, so we all see the same result as the left drawing in, in this case. And uh, that is because that every record on the enroll list do have does have a matched record on the student rec uh, list. OK, so that's why that you can see here the result of the full drawing is similar as the left drawing. OK, so I hope this will make sense to you so that how we can join tables. Um, and once you have the join table, you can treat the join table as a new table. OK, so for example, if you have this join table and you can see I can uh, fill out the table. OK, and see where uh, s name equals s one okay so you can treat everything together as a single table and you can see where uh, you can do the where clause you can do the sort etc you can do the limit etc okay uh, so again so once you have joined two tables together and that will be generate a temporal table and you can treat that temporal table as a table and you can use where clause you can use sort and you can even do the calculations Okay.